What's up guys? How are you? Welcome back. It's me, your host, Hebot. And as you can see here on my what would be my right and probably no, your right, my left. That's what it is. Uh I have some pickups from uh Star Wars Black Series that I acquired in the last couple of uh months or so. And um we're going to take a closer look at them because we're not going to get into full detail with them. Uh, because, you know, there's plenty of figures here that have a lot of reviewers that have reviewed them out there and unboxed them and things of that nature. So I just want to take a closer look, give my thoughts on them and what I think of them. Um, also, at the same time, is you know, I apologize, you guys, for still using this format as a video pre-recorded because... You know, I would like to do these unboxings in live, basically, so that you guys can be part of it. And if you want to chime in and come in on your comments, you're able to do that. But unfortunately, because I don't have still um, a thousand subscribers on my channel, I can't really do that. But, you know, it's still fun nonetheless. I'm still doing what I have to do to put in the work so that you guys can have a good fun time with me as I'm doing it. So just, I guess, try to help me get to that. 1,000 subs and you know uh, I can do better things and I have a better approach to you guys you know my fans and, and, and my viewers and my friends and subs you know so uh, I can do it a lot more personal anyway let's get right into it we'll look at each figure one by one and I'll talk a little bit about it all right stay there sit back and relax and enjoy the ride see you soon So here we are, and we have the number one from the haul pickup that I did is the Black Series uh, Sif Jet Trooper. He is number 106 in the line, and you see there his uh, have his bio that he has, little bio. It says, in an ultimate push towards Galaxy's Conquest, the first... Order readies an army of elite soldiers that draw inspiration from a dark and ancient legacy. So that's his little bio he comes with. And we have Sif Trooper right there on the turntable. And you can see he's really nice and shiny. Really beautifully colored. He is the third version of him in the Black Series 6 inch line. And you guys know I don't think they have any plans of doing a... A metallic version um, or a carbonized version but if they do that would be awesome and he looks pretty dope as you can see really nice details painted really well nice and shiny as you can see the weathering and these back here this is in the backpack that he makes the flood these are um, articulated like the other ones um, so put it like that, the yellow accents, black on top of the vent, that groove of detail on the side of the suit. Really nice, they look nice. I like this trooper, he looks cool. I don't like the design line straight of the helmet too much, but it's still okay. Um, I have the carbonized and the white one as well. So yeah, that's the first one in for my pickup. The uh, again, like I said, the Sith Jet Trooper. Now let's check out number two. So coming in at number two that I picked up is none other than the Knights of Ren, or Knight of Ren, as you can see there. And again, his picture bio, and he is number. He is number 105. And here is his bio in the back real quick. Boom. It says, an enslave of masked warriors wielding these distinct weapons for range and close quarters 
combat. The Knights of Ren's are elite, fearsome enforcers of Kai Lo Ren. And as we all know, they don't really uh, have a big part in the movie. I mean, they fight. Uh, he fights all of them at the end, but, you know, it's kind of really quick. And they don't really have a big part in the movie, but they look really cool. You see, uh, as you can see here, they look really, really nice. This guy looks really dope. It has a lot of nice plastic. That's like a, like a soft matte plastic. He has all that dirt highlight action on him. Like it's dirt from the dirt from the desert. A lot of nice detail. Helmet looks real dope. Really nice. Mine has a little uh, thing on top that came off. You can see how the mask is. Very different and futuristic like as well. The gauntlets. The belt. Yes, yeah, this is really cool gun which you put in this holster in a different and unique way. There's this staff here with the blade on the front, does electricity, has a skirt going down, and then his boots with the you know the boots being dirtied and muddied when they're in the planet looking for them. So he looks good. Um, the Knight of Ren. Is one of the newer ones and you know right now <clears throat> the black series is going to be heavy because they just releasing a lot of stuff i still need you know quite a number of stuff including the child and they just announced a lot of the stuff from rebels reissues that i already have but i would like to get the updated face paint but you know and then the two jedis it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff let's move it right along next i have on the number three spot, I have Zori Bliss. As you see there with her picture there. She is number 103. And she has their bio right here. Which says, let's see. It says, it is, a difficult for, it is difficult for scoundrels to remain neutral in the war between First Order and Resistance, and Zori Bliss, and the Spice Runners of Kajami, or Kajimi, must soon take a side. <clears throat> so, pretty simple. Uh, this was played by the young actress, or, well, she's not young anymore. I think that used to play Felicity. I forget her name. Uh, Carrie Ann Moss, is it, I think? I forgot, anyway. And she looks good, because she definitely has that um has that um design that looks very star wars and it looks really good and the paint job is really nice and she looks very pirate like so she's like really really dope she's small but you know the burgundies look really good the gold accents on her and the helmet everything you see how that looks really well implemented her guns are very pirate like and unique as you can see they're very 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 they're very different <coughs> excuse me than what we used to seeing with star wars okay like i said they look very pirate these are holsters which are placed backwards you put the gun backwards on the belt you just see the straps her boots different also in design than normal and the really nice thing is you have her face print technology underneath here which this actually opens up when you pull it out ta da you see her and all of her Face print technology glory. There you go. This looks very cool. And it looks a lot like her. Uh, as far as the design. And her facial expressions through her eyes. Um, put the visor back on. I think it just slides back on. I don't think it's too hard. <coughs> <clears throat> and there it is. It would have been nice had like a, if the visor would have been like a little bit um see through I guess just a tad, so you could kind of see your eyes through it. But 
I don't know, I like her. Zori Bliss is pretty dope, but I think she's gonna be the bread woman. I just see her everywhere. <clears throat> Even though I had ordered her from Amazon a while ago and I didn't get her not too long ago. So let's move right along. Man, here we are, number four. We have probably what is one of the strongest releases so far this year <clears throat> in the Black Series, which is Count Tuku. As you see there, the name. Picture of Christopher Lee as him. He's number 107. And his body on the back with his, uh, you know, picture of him, silhouette. It says Count Dooku was a menacing Sith Lord and a central figure in the Clone Wars. Once a Jedi, he became disillusioned with the Jedi Order and thirst for greater power. So simple while straight to the point. And Count Dooku, here you go. He's like really, 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 really nice. I mean, for a $20 figure, they really knocked it out of the park with him. As you can see, <clears throat> he has, first of all, a spectacular head sculpt. It's Christopher Lee, as you can see. Absolutely spectacular. It has a little sheen to it. It's not too bad in person. It looks more matted. It looks like he's matted on one side and then shiny on the other side. I don't know why that is, but that's what it looks like on my figure, as you see. It's got the chain, the cloth. It's really nicely done with two patterns of colors. This nice brown, light brown, and then a nice dark brown. And then on his belt, and then he has the nice brown on him. All over the place, a little peg for the saber. Then he brings this saber. He brings this saber that looks like he's wanding or is wielding it. You know, where it gives the effect like he's doing the, the you know, like the, the, the movement of the saber. Which is a first for this, I think, for Black Series. He also has the other one in there, which I didn't take it out, which is the single one. And the boots are really nicely done. Baggy pants. Got a little paint blemish there. Which I think I can remove. Um, and then the back. Matte and shiny. Well, this is plasticky. This is more of a harder plastic. But he looks great. He looks really, really nice. Like, he looks good. Uh, I've seen the, you know, the other one from Bandai. I don't know if it's from Figma or SH Figures, but it looks less impressive than this one. This one looks way better with that screen, you know, face screen technology that they're using. Face print technology is great. So, yeah, there's Count Dooku. Here, coming in at number five is the... 40th Empire Strikes Back celebration and anniversary, as you see there. It is none other than the Imperial Imperial Pro Droid, and you see the font here. For Empire Strikes Back, a nice silhouette of the Pro Droid, really nice in the box. He's number D three for deluxe number three. Probe droid on the side, or droid, and then imperial droid in red letters. Then the back, another silhouette with the bio. Let's see there. And it says, commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back with the Imperial Probe Droid figure. Tenacious Hunters Probe Droids are armed with powerful blasters. So, you know, this was in the Planet Hoth. Uh, these were made in almost every collection of Star Wars and series through the years. Um, so, it's no surprise they brought it out. And as you can see, it looks really nicely detailed this time around. Very, very nice with the 
blacks and then the weathering of you know browns on it or what looked to be greenish this thing has a lot of detail a nice big you know probe eye there as you see in the top really nicely detailed and then also up here these are articulated they go up and down didn't know that which is cool other side the other camera lens see all that weathering and paint in different colors this is really cool also on the side and the, even on some of the arms you see here and they're all articulated all the arms they go left and right and then you know they all split more even in the hinges and the ends uh, all of them move this one moves this one moves uh, this one moves right here they all move and then this one and they all move left and right in case I wanted to know then the head obviously moves as well um, so a lot of different options because the nice display stand that pegs in the bottom come up and then the display stand if you see here is like a piece of you know snow a drama of snow which is awesome really really awesome um, so it goes right there there's the pro droid imperial pro droid I might get another one just so that I can have more to build up for my, you know, like a scenery. These are running for like 30 bucks, um, but they're a nice size. They come with the, the stand, so that, you know, I think at the end of the day, they're not, you know, ripping you off. I think it's a pretty good price. Some places are on for $27.99 also. So there is your... Black Series Star Wars Empire Strikes Back's 40th Anniversary Imperial Pro Joy. Coming in up next at. Here we go at the number six spot. You have none other than the carded back 40th Anniversary Celebration of the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Rebel. Soldier, as you see there, see? and this is the face that we're going for for one of the characters. And this is a build a figure type deal. We're not build a figure, build a army, and then they have the other, you know, figures in the way that are available. And these all come carded in this classic Kenner style card back that used to be the same setup for the original three and three quarters inch Kenner figures from back in the early 80s which is a nice touch but as you see here here is the soldier off soldier rubber soldier and you know these guys were a long time coming they're pretty pretty beautiful looking and very nice here is the face of mine here's the green goggles that actually is a separate piece that do come out the mask that come you know that you put in you know very nice little bandana strap from the top antenna and the radio is there inside the backpacks just rifle just blaster on the side nice skirt and cloth looking really cozy in the boots the warm and just like that uh, with the details there the sweater on the side of the arm and the gauntlet of his wrist it's a really really nice figure um the only thing i don't like is that this is really soft so when you want to try to connect it to the pegs to put it back on a uh it almost feels um somewhat impossible because it's so soft 
So it could look like it's attached there. And even come to the removable face that you put there on, on the, you know, on the backpack itself. Itself, which I see them doing some type of same gimmick like that for, you know, um, I'm pretty sure for Zartan when, he, when they do it in the classified uh, G.I. Joe line. So you see, and another hit, as you can see there. Another hit. A scruffy with actual uh, hair on it. Then I just whoop, whoop, approach the way it's stored it. Nothing too fancy schmancy, not, not, not in the way, and then you just peg this right in the back. Whoop, whoop. And then you try to plug these in the best you can to go there on the side. One peg as like so. Right here. Let's see. See, like I said it's kind of hard to do uh, because it's really soft the material, so it doesn't really want to go in the way it should. So it look like it's pegged on, uh, on that bar there, that, that gray bar. Same thing with this side, even though this side. Seems to be a little bit easier when you put it in to uh, peg on. Seems to go in a, little, a lot easier. Then again, who knows? Yeah, yeah. But there it is. This is the uh, that's the uh, the rebel off uh, trooper, which I got and found one in target these so far are harder to find um i gotta get at least one more so we'll move it right along and coming here next i have these towers carted back of luke skywalker in his snow speeder suit or outfit which is very uh, close to the one of the tie fighter but it has a lot of differences once you have them side by side as well and you realize that. Uh, so, get the card back. There's Luke, Mark Camel, looking extraordinarily young. Mm -hmm. Has a little 40th there. I don't know if you can see it, a little 40th. And then, you know, the, the cross on the back with the other ones in the line. And, you know, it's good for the mint on car collectors that uh, like that nostalgic, old-school packaging feel. And, you know, like I said, the Luke figure is really nice. Uh, it's much more uh, vibrant in color, I think, than the first one for the TIE Fighter. So let's take a closer look at him. And there is him, Luke. Luke. With a translucent visor, as you see there, with the print tech technology, face print technology, and there's a neck a secretary in the vest and the material. And here is the suit, the gloves, a way thicker lightsaber than what we got before. The holes in gray and a belt, more gloves, a little resistors, a gray strap coming from underneath here. So, a strap here, Got these boots, nice and well, which were different than the one for the TIE Fighter in the back. The two pouches looks really nice. Um, so let's see how quick what Luke's face looked like underneath here. We pull this off and remove the helmet. The helmet. The Luke 
helmet. As you can see, after you remove the helmet, there you go. Here's Mark Hamill. Yes, really nice. Looks a lot like him. Jesus. Jawline and all. With the pouch on the top, you know, to cover their head. So, we have Luke the Skywalker. And then we can probably put that thing like so, like he's holding it from his hand, which is cool. And I'll put it in here, like you know. It don't come with no. It doesn't come with no little. With no little, you know, grenade like when he throws inside the. The at, at Walker, so the AT-18. There it is. That's Luke in a snow speeder outfit. And next, I have none other than Billy D. Williams himself. Uh, man of the hour. We have Lando Calrissian in the. Best Bin outfit from the planet at Best Bin, and this is part of the commemorative card back 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. I had opened him um, before I got the other ones and actually threw out the card back. I hit him and Luke uh, from you know Dagobah with the you know with the Best Bin suit, and I threw it out so that's why I don't have the packaging, but. We can take a look at his newly face coat with the print tech technology face print. Which looks just as good as the gift card one. Really nice. The hair all, all around. You can see other than that the entire outfit, you know, you can still remove this, it's very soft. The entire suit and the little communicator he had it in to talk and that's how they managed to escape the little blaster with the you know uh, colors on that and well the design there pants and then obviously the shoes and the back you know looking very Centric, like he always does. Uh, Lando Calrissian. You know, like he has no other business. Talk about what's going on, sugar baby. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I got him, you know, with only to, to exchange and have the better version with the face print technology. So I already had them in the other one, so the one I had originally I actually uh, sold to my buddy because he really don't care about all that face print stuff or being the best version. He just wanted the character. So um, he bought it off me, and I was able to, you know, pick this one up, which is cool. And so the last figure from my haul, as you can see, is none other than the iconic Luke in Bespin outfit. This is where he has the battle for the very first time with Darth Vader, where he says to him, I am Luke, I am your father. And uh, it's weird to me that when they did this figure, since they had a chance to re-release them with the face print well, I didn't update it at least where you can have the piece in the arm removed where it's cut off and you can have the arm just you know the hand cut off uh, as well and you know it looks really good uh, the biggest difference is that this time around obviously face print again they nailed it with Mark Hamill looking very Mark Mark Hamley, there you go. The blonde, the weathering, 
and then the, the display being a lot brighter and translucent keep that blue and then you know thicker and then as far as the outfit is basically the same exact thing i think a little less dirt weathering than the original wheaties and obviously it shoot um as you can see like the head is bigger also on him so he looks really good and so and it's amazing the difference just having a better head scope can do for a figure so let me put them all together and that and then uh so we can see them all in a, in, a, in a shot of the haul that i picked up so there we have it guys this is my latest star wars six inch black series figures that i picked up and you know they're all very impressive very nice looking nice updated re-releases some that we haven't had uh and i'm you know really really uh happy with the pickups i hope all of you star wars fans have had the opportunity to pick yours up a lot of these are going to be hard to get there's so many more that are coming out this year that it's very um, nerve-wracking i don't have the child yet like i said especially being a completist where you want to get all the figures in you know at hands as much as possible um and there you have the you know obviously the uh uh, the, you know the the new Empire Strikes Back's you know iterations entry and a little bit of the original uh, prequels uh, love and you know from the newest uh, Rise of Skywalker movie. So guys, like always, leave a like with a thumbs up, leave a dislike with a thumbs down, share the video with someone you think might enjoy it, and leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about these figures. If you have them yourself, if you um planning to pick them up or if you guys already picked them up and um also if you're new to the channel hey welcome for thank you for stopping by and welcome you know you're welcome here right um and i hope that uh you enjoyed it and i hope that you enjoyed it enough that maybe you continue to stop by and subscribe uh because uh i know that you don't have to but if you did Remember, I consider you part of my family now that you did. And as always, if you guys want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, you guys, got, you guys know how to do so. It's all down in the description below. And you can find me on my social media on Twitter, Hebop Powerful Gamer, and on uh, Instagram under C underscore respect. And if you maybe want to make a donation uh, for have something... For me to you know review or something like that just dm me and we work out the particulars to see where we go from there this is Ebon uh, with my latest star wars black series haul signing off hope you liked it guys see you in the next one keep collecting be safe doing it and have consideration to others bye bye guys